In this tutorial I will show you how you can use cross processing to make your photos look beautiful. Hey what's up guys Drone here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create cross processing which is used for color correction and this is going to be really quick. So first of all select an image that doesn't have really hard lighting. Uh, this one seems really nice. Now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and select vibrance. Vibrance because we need to add some colors and make it slightly more contrasty because the cross processing will remove a lot of contrast. So this seems really fine uh, as you can see it looks nice. Now create another adjustment layer and this time you have to select curves. First of all in the RGB panel you need to increase the slider from here. Uh, maybe this uh, seems fine. Uh, it looks too much faded but afterwards it would look better. So this uh, seems fine. Now you need to go to your red and increase little bit of red and then decrease uh, this touch uh, like blues from here uh, cyan actually to be accurate so uh, make a as something like this so this is crossing the colors this is simply what it is uh, i'm gonna drag it here and here and then i'm gonna go to my greens and then i'm gonna cross them a little bit here don't go too extreme with the green because that will be really too much noticeable so that seems fine and now finally to the blue now this time in the blue instead of creating a regular s i'm gonna create uh, a positive s so create something like this and then increase this one from here so it will give you really nice that contrast of blue and yellow and help you separate subject from the background a bit more and then all you have to do is just adjust it until you find it proper uh, so the greens are way too much and cyans are okay that was looking nice actually it looks really good like old film effect i think so i'm just crossing the colors with each other nothing special you can also like fix it into the middle like this so that every time you change this colors the other one doesn't get messed up so that is really helpful and now uh, let's go to the rgb and now the final adjustment how much you need it so that seems fine and that's it actually <laughs> so let's look at the after before uh, this is the original one and this is the edited one and i hope you liked it and if you did hit that like button and if you have any doubts uh, ask me in the comment question plus you can click on any of these boxes to watch more videos plus you can hit on that subscribe button so it will take you to my channel where you can subscribe uh, you can watch my more than 70 plus free photoshop tutorial and after subscribing every time i upload a new video you will get an update so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop